Thank you, for Pathfinders. That was beautiful singing. We are now going to listen to a sermon for this evening. And our speaker today is Hope. And before that, we are going to have a word of prayer. Let us pray. Our kind and loving Father who art in heaven, we come to you at this time. We thank you for being with us throughout the day until this time. Thank you for all the programs that are ahead of us. We ask that you be with us. And we also place your servant, Hope, as she speaks to us, that we will bring your message through her and that it is going to edify us and be of benefit to us. We ask all this, trusting and believing in the holy name. Amen. Hope. Sabbath. Um, good evening. Happy Sabbath. Good evening. My name is Hope Kimunto. I am in Explorer class of Golden Eagles Club um, of Nairobi East SDA Church. Um, my title for the sermon today is How Brave Are You? It's from the book of Daniel chapter 3 verse 8 to 25. But before I start, I would like to pray. Oh God, we come before you this evening. Thank you God for being with us throughout the day, oh God. As, you, as I am going to share, Almighty Father, may you help the congregation to understand everything that I'm going to speak about. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Therefore, at the time, certain childings came forward and accused the Jews. They spoke and said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. You, O king, have made a decree that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lyre, and psaltery in symphony with all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the God image and whoever does not fall down and worship shall be cast into the midst of a fire, of a burning fiery furnace there are certain jews who of the province of babylon shadrach meshach and abednego these men o king have not paid due regard to you they do not serve your gods or worship the gold image which you have set up then Nebuchadnezzar, in red fury, gave the command to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, so they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not have my gods or worship the gold image which I have set up? Now, if you are ready at the time you hear the sound of the own flute, harp, and such in symphony with all kinds of music, and you fall down and worship the images I have made. But if you do not worship, you shall be cast immediately into the midst of a, of a burning fiery furnace, and who is the God who will deliver you from my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to and answer you in this matter. If that is the case, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us from your hand. O king, but your gods know will O king, but if not, let it be known to you that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury, and the expression on his face changed towards Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He spoke and commanded that, that they hit the furnace seven times more than it was usually heated, and he commanded certain mighty men of valor who were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their trousers, their turbans, and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. 
Therefore, because the king's command was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire killed those men who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose in haste and spoke, saying to his counselors, did we not cast three men bound in the, into the midst of the fire? Look, he answered, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. From this story, we learn that you should have faith and trust in God when in, when in any situation or circumstance. We should be firm and like we should be firm like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The Pathfinder pledge says that, by the grace of God, I will be pure, kind, and true. I will keep the Pathfinder law. I will be a servant of God and a friend to man. Then the, the law number eight says, go on God's errands. Jesus' great commission concerns me. I like it and I will consider a privilege to take part in it. My question for you today is, are you able to be brave and assertive like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Thank you. Thank you very much, Hope. That was a challenge to all of us. How brave are you? How assertive are you to go on God's errands? As pathfinders, we've been called upon to be always ready to serve God and to stand by what he has promised us. We are going to have our closing song. Our choristers are going to lead us shortly. Joy in 
viewers and the church uh, here at Nestac. See you tomorrow for the World Pathfinder Day. Have a blessed evening. <laughs>